Hello, 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 it's Knits for Sanity, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am so happy to have you. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm always, always happy when you stop by. So what do I have today? Well, obviously it is an unboxing. This unboxing I am so, so excited about. It is my largest ever Craft Buddy purchase. If you are not familiar with Craft Buddy, and a lot of people in the States are not, um, that is because Craft Buddy is based out of England. And it is very, very hard to get Craft Buddy items on this side of the quote unquote pond. So generally, if you want to buy Craft Buddy, you're going to have to purchase from overseas. We did come into a little bit of money and it just felt like the right time to go ahead and make the splurge. So I'm so excited. So a lot of what is in here I've been wanting for a long, long time and I cannot wait to show you. All right, let's dive right in. My box has now been, I think, uh -huh. Yes, untaped and ready to be opened. Before I open this though, I did have a request from a viewer to please share the prices of each item as I take them out. So I have printed off a sheet because I cannot remember if there will be an inventory sheet with prices in the box or not. Often there is not anymore, just because everything's done online. And so it's just really not necessary to have a paper copy in the box. Um. So I did print it off, however, it is in pounds. So I'm gonna do a very, very, very quick little math lesson with you so that when I tell you the price in pounds, you will be able to figure out approximately the equivalent value in American dollars. First, you can just go to a handy uh, money exchange website that will convert pounds into US dollars, or quite often it is approximately one pound equals a dollar twenty-five in American dollars. So how do we figure out these percentages and figure out these prices? I'm going to tell you what I do. So let's say an item is ten pounds. What I'm going to do immediately is know right off the bat that okay, it's going to be ten dollars plus twenty-five percent more than that because twenty-five, that dollar twenty-five is one whole and one quarter. Of a whole, right? We're going back to fractions. <laughs> if you know all of this, just speed ahead a little bit. But I know some of you could use a refresher because you've mentioned it to me before. So I know right away, okay, it's going to be $10 and then I need to figure out 25% beyond that. So I'm going to take my $10 and I'm going to first cut that in half. Half of 10 is 5. That's 50%. I'm going to cut that number in half again. So five divided by two is $2.50. That is my 25% extra. So my total cost in American dollars will be approximately $12.50. Now, I used a nice round number like $10, but this works with everything. Take six pounds. Six pounds, divide it in two for 50% will be three. Divide that in two again, it's $1.50. You're going to add that to your first total of the six. $7.50 is approximately equivalent to six pounds. Occasionally, the market will do really, really zany things, though. A year ago, when England was having their entire postal strike season happening, the pound to dollar ratio was almost equal. <laughs> That was a great time to buy from overseas. Um, right now, the United States, with some of our own economic struggles, sometimes it's getting closer to $1.30 is equivalent to one pound. Um, and it's not entirely unusual to even occasionally see it go as high as $1.45 or so equals one pound. But generally, $1.25 equals one pound. All right, that is your math lesson for the day. I am done with that, but I wanted to put it in there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to open this up and then I'm going to give you a little peek. Oh, see that little peek? Now I'm going to move it aside, guys. Sorry. <laughs> First things I'm going to show you are these cute little things. <laughs> I've had my eye on this series for some time. They're called Crystal Art Buddies. And these are all licensed pieces. So this is all licensed from Disney's Marvel. But... Look at how cute this is. You create these little stands. They're made out of wood. 
and they come with a stand in there with everything you need, of course. And then eventually, when you're all done, he'll look like this. And you have this little stand-up character. Isn't he adorable? My son's favorite Avenger is goes between Spider-Man and Captain America. So I got one of each. And I'm going to hold on to these for him for Christmas. I don't know if I will give him both at once. Or maybe I will make one for him and give him the other one for Christmas. He is a very, very slow diamond painter. Because I do have quite a bit in this unboxing, I am not going to go into great detail with these. Instead, I'm just going to show you this is what your final product will look like. Again, here's your base. It is a wood base. You do have a very basic toolkit in here. You have one little drill pin, a drill tray, and there will be one little piece of wax in there as well. You have all of the drills that you need in here. How cute are these little buddies? And there's a whole Disney series available. You got princesses as well as other major Disney characters like Minnie Mouse and Donald Duck, etc. So super, super adorable. Look at, they're so cute. So I'm really, really excited to have both of these. So the next thing is their freebie. So here we have a couple of adhesive rhinestone motifs. Obviously, you know, you should all know what this is. The nice Union Jack flag here. On the back, it doesn't tell you a whole lot. Well, I guess it does give you size, quantity, Union Jack. Yeah, we know that. Um, I'm not sure why we need instructions. <laughs> it's just a sticker type thing, but there are instructions. So, but this was a little freebie. Quite often, there will be either a little freebie that you can add to your purchase or there may be an additional discount that you can add to your purchase so keep your eye open for those extra little things that you can add to your order which kind of helps make the approximately $40 shipping cost feel not quite as painful next thing I'm going to show you are the Beatrix Potter items I got if you've been following with me for a while oh I didn't tell you prices sorry I'm new to this <laughs> I'm so sorry. So these are four pounds, 99 pence, or about five pounds each. Now, real quick, five divided by two is 250, divided by two again is $1.25. That means these are about $6.25 in American currency. There, I'm gonna try, so I'm trying guys, I'm trying. I'm learning, I'm growing. <laughs> um, so in my family, we do love Beatrix Potter. We love Beatrix Potter and Paddington Bear. And I know you got a glimpse that I have some Paddington Bear in this box. And so these are all items now that I have been wanting for some time. And finally, when I had the opportunity, I, I bought as much as I possibly could, <laughs> given the budget I had. So this is their crystal art card kit. And if you open it up, you see that in most of England, actually, their square cards are quite a bit larger than what we have on this side of the ocean. In the United States, our cards tend to be either a six by six or a seven by seven, versus this is an eight by eight inch card. So it is substantially larger. See, I put my hand on there. This is quite a bit larger than what we typically retail over here. So it's just, means it's more beautiful is what it means. But the front is a partial drill. As you can see, not everything is meant to have diamonds attached to it. And then on the back, as you can see, we have some gorgeous crystal drills in there. Oh, I love the crystals. And again, very, very, very basic tool kit. In addition, you do have instructions for how you can put your card together if you are new to the art of diamond painting. And it comes in a variety of languages, four to be exact. So um, the back is where you're going to find your color code or your legend to let you know what goes where. One thing I do love about Craft Buddy is they do use a DMC number system. DMC is like what you see for DMC floss for cross stitch it is a standardized colored numbering system and i appreciate that craft buddy does that um 
They give you also approximately the number of drills needed for each color. And that's really about it. And these card sets retail for $5.50 in pounds. Do you want me to do the math again? No, no, no. I bet you can figure it out now. <laughs> I love this card. And no, I'm, I will not be giving this particular card away because I love it too much. <laughs> That's the problem with these crystal art cards. Then I have this Peter Rabbit crystal art card. Oh, this was a spring item. Isn't that sweet? I just think that is so sweet. So here again is the actual image of the card. This is another partial drill, as you can see. And to get a glimpse at our crystals, we do have a special crystal in here, a special like marquee shape crystal. Very, very pretty. Otherwise, it looks like the rest are your standard drills. And Craft Buddy does use resin drills, too, in case that is something that interests you. Um, there's not a huge difference, really, between resin and acrylic. I mean, okay, there are actually plenty of differences, but for your finished product, there really is not an enormous difference between the two. Resin does tend to be a little bit more sparkly, but acrylic can also be remarkably sparkly and beautiful. Price is the same, $5.50. All right, this is what I'm actually going to show you next. So this is not Beatrix Potter or Paddington Bear, but this is a Christmas card kit. It is eight different Christmas cards in here. So it is just like these individual cards, except they package together eight of their holiday cards into a single kit for you. And I'll move you up close here so you can see these. Super cute. Aren't those sweet? And those are all in this box, okay? And on the back here, they do show you you're going to have eight cards total, eight envelopes. You will have all of the drills that you need for each kit. They actually give you two pens in here. Plus, it looks like there might be a multi-placer in here as well, just a small little one. They give you two things of wax and two trays. So this one is a very shareable product. You can do this one with a friend. <laughs> but um, I love the Craft Buddy cards. I really enjoy that larger size, and these are gorgeous just gorgeous. The other set that they had of eight Christmas cards was sold out already. So I had to get this one, which is probably good because let's be honest, I would have probably purchased both of them. But this way I was limited to just getting the one. Now the price on this, let me look for that here. The 2023 limited edition festive best of British set of eight cards is 25 pounds or 24.99. And again, you can do the math for that now. So 25 pounds. When you consider that it is 550 for one card, this is 550. Getting a set of eight for 25 pounds is a fantastic deal. Just fantastic. And now that leaves us with all of the Paddington Bear stuff. I have been gaga over this series <laughs> since it came out last fall. I did get a few Paddington Bear cards. So obviously there's a lot of card kits in this unboxing. Um, here we go. How cute is he carrying his packages to this mailbox? Although I have no idea how he's going to get these boxes into that little slot. I guess we're going to assume that this must be sitting in front of the post, right? And he's walking into the post. Is that, we're going to, that's what we're going to say he's doing. Um, cute, cute, cute. I love the addition of having your little pigeon down here. Super cute. 
And again, it's like all of your other ones, but here are your drills. Now the Paddington series, mm, I don't know that there are any special drills for any of the Paddington products here. Um, and that kind of makes sense. Paddington is, especially it's based on the new Paddington version, very primary color type character. So we have this card. And again, I don't know that I will ever be able to give any of these cards away, especially these really special ones, the Beatrix Potter and the Paddington Bear ones. They, they might remain mine forever. <laughs> and then this is another cute Paddington card. Here he is. He is reaching into his marmalade jar, trying to get those last little bits of marmalade out. Super, super cute card. And just some extra special little details in here. You know, down here, this is supposed to be a splash of marmalade with PB for Paddington Bear in it. Just those added little touches that are just so, so sweet. And then again, here are your drills. The colors between all of the Paddington collection are the same. So Paddington's fur color, they use the same color DMC drills, the hat, the coat. It's the same drills between all of the collections, which is really, really nice. And you'll find out one reason why in just another minute or two. I forgot to point it out again, but on the back is indeed your legend for all of their cards. You're going to find the legend on the back. The exception to that is going to be in this card kit, the legend will be on a separate piece of paper in here because your cards are not packaged the way that these are. I can actually open up this box and we might be able to see. Okay, you can't really see it, but yes. there. One of these sheets back here is going to have the legend that you need for all of these cards. But this is what it looks like when you pull it out. As you can see, some special drills. So, and at some point, I probably will do a further unboxing with this when I do a couple of these cards. I'm sure you'll be able to see some of that in a future video. It's the last Paddington card, and this one was just recently released. It is a holiday special Paddington card. Let it snow. Oh, now this one, I believe, does have some special drills because it is a holiday card. Let's look at the image. Oh, my goodness. This one might be my favorite one out of the Paddington cards. Oh, I bet Mr. Gruber would love this one hanging in his store. <laughs> so cute. And if we go to the back, yes, we do. We do have some special drills back here, as we can see. Look at this. We have some crystals that are, this is that crystal marquee. This is like tiny, tiny marquee shapes. So this one does have some awesome special drills in it. This card is just going to be fantastic. And in case you have forgotten, all of these cards are $5.50, okay? All of the cards that are single packaged are $5.50, and that's in pounds again. Now, I'm going to move on and show an item that will help explain why I said it is so cool that they use the same DMC colors within the whole Paddington series. That is this. So one thing that I love about Craft Buddy is they have these stamps. And as you can see, the stamps all have these little bitty circles on them. Well, if you're a diamond painter, you know what those circles are for. <laughs> Clearly, that is where you're going to put down your drills. And if you have enough of the Paddington collection, you're going to have plenty of leftover drills to be able to create your cards or wall pieces or anything else that you want using these stamps and matching the colors exactly with the rest of the set. I love that. I just love that thoroughness and completeness. Now, one sad bit there is another stamp set that I really, really, really wanted. And I'm hoping 
that it will come back in stock and it will be convenient for me to be able to buy it because I am, <laughs> this was the hardest one for me to miss out on is the other stamp set has a taxi cab um, and Big Ben, I believe, is in that set. And actually, that's the set that I wanted more out of the two of them. <laughs> I mean, I wanted both, obviously. But when it came down to, you know, which one was going to sell out and which one then I'd have to be left owning, I would have actually preferred the other set. But this is still really, really cute. And um, here on the back, they kind of give you an example and this is using all leftover drills from the other Paddington Bear items in the series. And there are some wonderful, wonderful people who are affiliates with Craft Buddy who have done videos on different card ideas that you can do using these stamps. So it's definitely worth checking it out if you're interested in something like that. Um, and just think of me. <laughs> Hopefully that other stamp set is not gone forever. This is supposed to be a limited edition series, so we'll we'll see. Because I really, really, really want it. All right, the price for this, let me find that back. Uh 14 pounds or 13.99. So 14 pounds for the Paddington Bear Sightseeing in London, the Crystal RA5 stamp set. And then there are only two more items after this one. So this is the Paddington Bear Journal. These books are amazing. I'm going to take this out of its package, actually, and show you. I love their notebooks. They call it a crystal art notebook. But the quality of these is just fantastic. This is a hard cover notebook. It is a very decent size. It is, you know, beautifully marked. On the inside, you do have pre-lined pages, but not like obnoxious pre-lined pages. I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but, um, you know, they're not like frilly. They're not like too wide of lines, too narrow of lines. This is a basic wide rule interior. You do have a bookmarker, just an extra little touch, added touch. On the inside, you will find your legend. And of course, here are all of your drills. There are not actually a whole ton of drills for this, because as you can see, again, you are only putting drills on actual image items. Otherwise, the background is just book. But, oh, I wanted this too. <laughs> I wanted this about as badly as I wanted the stamp set that I was unable to get. <laughs> so I'm happy that I was able to get this book. Uh, the price on this, 12 pounds, 11.99. Having a picnic, Paddington Bear Crystal Art Notebook, 12 pounds. And, you know, just thematically, it all runs together. Again, here you see Paddington with his sandwich and a whole stack of marmalade sandwiches. You have your pigeon making appearance again. Really cute. Very complete series. This was really well thought out. And again, this is all licensed. Um, one thing to take note of, it's not something that we do as much here in the United States, but... Um, I think it might be a little bit more popular in parts of Europe with different craft fairs and things like that. It's not uncommon for people to make, say, cards using these stamps and sell them for school fundraisers and things like that. Because of the licensing agreement that Craft Buddy does have with the owners of Paddington, um, there are limits on how much and what you can do with selling the products you make. That is especially true with any Disney products. Those are very clear and explicit rules. And I wanna see right now if, if there is anything printed that I can readily see on the packaging here. Um, it's definitely on the website. So if that is something that applies to you, definitely go check it out. Um, I just, I don't want you to get into any kind of trouble with Craft Buddy or definitely not Disney. 
Um, just, they have a lot of lawyers. <laughs> um, so that is something to kind of keep in mind with some of these special um, special licenses that Craft Buddy is able to get. And that's how they're able to get some of the special licensing is by having these agreements in place with these major companies. There's only two products left. Oh, I don't know which one to show you first. I think we'll do this one. I <laughs> I love these sets. Craft Buddy has a few of them. This is the first one that I've been able to buy. And I'm pretty much like a five-year-old on Christmas morning over it. <laughs> It's this. It's one of the 3D buildable scene kits. Ah, I think these things are so cool. <laughs> so this is, well, this. You have a base and then you have one, two, three, four different pieces that you're going to apply drills to. And then they slide into place on this base. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of its box too for you. I have it opened up. I got to tell you, I'm kind of nervous about taking everything out of here without working on it right away. <laughs> Especially these are all cellophane together. We'll see. Um, I'm just, I'm very nervous about taking it out and then having it break. My house is kind of a chaos zone until the kids are back in school full time, which isn't for another week. <laughs> but here's your base. This is a nice, heavy wood slash cork board base. Here you have three slats. Here is your legend. Definitely you do not want to lose this. It also shows you your different pieces. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's too tiny to see. So you can't really see. This is so tiny. The top shows you the full images. The bottom is where you're actually placing crystals or where your drills actually go. But with an image this tiny, I'm not, I'm not even sure why they <laughs> bothered including that. But here you go. These all punch right out of your wood. And then they all have sticky on top of them. You got your double decker. This is the London, just like in the wall hang that I did last fall, exactly the same, except that mine doesn't, there's no pigeon on the wall hang version, but otherwise this is identical. Here you have your Paddington, and on the back side, here you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then these pieces all just slide right in here. Obviously, you know, I put the bridge in the back. I mean, you can certainly change it up but I imagine the bridge pretty much guaranteed to be in the back <laughs> um super fun I yeah just super fun and really a pretty small little project but pretty awesome end results and then here are your drills again there are no special drills just those primary colors are really emphasized in here and there should be more than enough drills in this package and just a very, very basic little toolkit again. Um, this is not a large project, so you don't need a whole lot for a toolkit. And that is this complete set right here. Let's put this one away. I got it all back in the box nicely. <laughs> um, a little bit more examination of the box here. They kind of give you the dimensions, what you're looking at for finished product size. They do let you know it's a partial crystal. The back, you see basic instructions as well of, you know, what everything comes in the kit. And again, this comes in five different languages. So super, super nice. I mean, if you know five languages or if you happen to be in France and are purchasing this kit, you don't need to try and interpret from English when that's not your first language. Last piece. At least the last piece that I was able to get from the Paddington collection. Oh, framed canvas kit. Oh, price. <coughs> the price for this was 15 pounds, which honestly, 15 pounds, I think is a great price for what this is. Thrilled with that price, actually. So that's 15 pounds. Here we go. One of the reasons why I love Craft Buddy, and I've said this before, is it's one of the few 
crystal art companies out there where, or diamond painting companies out there where you have a finished product when you're done with a painting. And I just, I love that. So this comes already framed for you and I will open this up and you can look at this with me. But it's writing a letter, crystal art canvas. We got Paddington sitting up there in his room. Probably writing to his aunt. <laughs> that would be my assumption anyway. Or he's writing a list for something. That could be too. On the back again, you have six languages this time. But again, your basic instructions as well as what is included in your kit. We will open this up. Oh, look at how gorgeous this is. Oh, that's beautiful. Now this is technically a partial drill. And looking at it, you might be thinking, really, because I see Everything looks to have <laughs> a circle on it to me, but it's because his eyes, <laughs> his eyes have been left alone. So that makes it technically a partial kit. And how is it already a finished product? This is already put together on a frame for you. So when you're done, you have a completed piece of art. The legend is on the back and that's how they do it with all of their kits like this is you're going to have to turn it over and cut this off in order to work your piece so if you get one of these and you pull everything out and you're like but i don't know what i'm supposed to stick where <laughs> where's my legend um it's back here finally in here again drills i'm not going to take them out because it's like the same color palette <laughs> as all of the other paddington series you do have a slightly larger kit though. You have your little purple squishy things to put on your pen. You do have the enclosed wax. You have a couple of trays in here. And that's because this is a larger size painting. And in fact, size is, it is a 30 by 30 size painting. So it is a, a standard size diamond painting. Um, and so cute. And the price for this was 22 pounds, 21.99. This was my major haul. <laughs> like I said, my largest craft buddy purchase ever. And I could not be more pleased. I am so excited about it. Now for some nitty gritties. Uh, I know if you are in the States, you're kind of thinking, you mentioned that shipping is exorbitant. Um, so let me share a little bit more with you about that. Uh, first, pay attention to Craft Buddy. Quite often they do run sales. Craft Buddy also does have affiliates available that you can get like a 10% discount on your purchase. Be on the lookout for them on Instagram um, and other social media. They're usually not too terribly hard to find an affiliate with a code. I am not an affiliate, so I don't have a code for you, but there are people out there that do have codes. So that's one way that you can save a little bit of money. Plus, Craft Buddy themselves often will do different little specials too. So for a while, they were doing like buy one Crystal Art Buddy and get like a 30% discount on a second Crystal Art Buddy, something like that. I don't remember exactly anymore. So that's a good time to purchase, you know, if you want these, get those at that time. Something else to consider is if you're able to do what I did and place a large purchase at once, then the shipping is actually almost reasonable. Shipping was 35 pounds for all of this. So again, if you do the math, half of 35 is 17.50. And half of seventeen fifty is eight seventy five. Is that right? That's approximately right. So, uh, we'll say it's about forty four dollars shipping. And yes, that is a lot of money. But 
when I'm able to get a whole cart full of items and have it shipped and reach me in three or four days. And it's stuff that I've really wanted for months and months and months. Suddenly that shipping cost doesn't seem quite as prohibitive, particularly if you can combine it with a couple other discounts that may be available. It is not, it's not horrible. So that's, that's kind of my nitty gritty on the shipping cost. What do you guys think? What is your favorite item? Are you like into any of this kind of stuff? Or was this unboxing something that is just totally not at all related to your interests? If that's so, that's fine. You know, this is just, this is what my family loves. This is what we're into. And I'm just so excited that I was able to make this purchase. But definitely let me know what you think. Um, and if I did forget the price for any of this stuff, please do not hesitate to ask me about it. I will definitely let you know. All right, guys, thank you so, so much once again for stopping by. I loved having you here. And like I always say, please practice kindness. You don't know what anyone's individual situation is like, so just be kind. And I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I'll see you again real soon.